What's happening, guys? Aruj again, and today we're talking about Gregor Mendel, who is known as the father of modern genetics. Um, we'll go a little bit more into his history in class, but a little bit about him. He was a monk that lived in about the 1850s, and he's known for his work with pea plants. Um, in, the, in, in the past, what people thought about inheritance was they thought there was a blending theory where whatever your traits are from your mother and whatever your traits are from your father, what you would inherit would be a 50-50 blending mix of those two traits. And Mendel actually found that's not necessarily true. And here's how he did that. At his monastery, um, this is before he did his experiment, um, he selected purebreds. And what a purebred meant was he took a plant, uh, two plants, and every single time he crossed them, 100% of their time, they showed tall offspring. All of their offspring were always going to be tall. Then he took a second group of short pea plants and always crossed them. And 100% of the time that he crossed them, they were always going to be short. Now, the thinking at the time was if he were to take a tall plant that was a purebred for being tall and a short plant, which was a purebred for being short, logical thinking would say he should get a medium-sized plant. Well, here's what happened. When he took those two purebreds and crossed them together, he got 100% tall plants. There was no intermediate. There was no uh, middle ground. There wasn't a medium-sized plant. The only trait that was shown was being tall for all of the offspring. So keep in mind that these parents, this was the P1 generation, which stands for you know parents, um, they were purebred. This F1 generation, that F stands for award filio, which means for offspring. Um, these were always going to be tall, but these were these were called hybrids now. Why were they called hybrids? Well, because they had half the genetics from a tall and half the genetics from a short. So then Mendel started thinking, well, what's going to happen in my second experiment if I take two of these hybrids and cross them. What are their offspring going to look like? So that's what he did. He took uh, two hybrids for being tall. He crossed those and every single time he did this, he got a ratio of three to one. He got three tall plants and then he got this trait showing up again, being tall, or I'm sorry, being short. If you were to go back in this generation, that trait was completely hidden. There was no evidence of the short uh, trait. However, in this experiment, the short trait came up again. So, Mendel started thinking, and he was a very smart guy. Logically thinking, there must be two traits, two versions of a gene that every parent has. Now, when these two parents create offspring, there's going to be one inherited from each parent. So this parent is going to donate one version of a gene, and this parent is going to donate a second version of a gene. Now, that was the first thing that he, that he came up with. The second thing was, between those two versions, between being tall, being tall, and being short, one gene or one allele, he, at the time they actually didn't know what genes were, um, one of them is going to be dominant, meaning one will always ex be expressed over the other. Okay, And the one that's not dominant is going to be hidden. So here are the notes that I want you to take. There's only two slides that I want you to take notes on. Number one, he found that each plant receives two copies for every trait. Think back to homologous chromosomes. How many chromosomes did we inherit from each parent? We inherited two. Now, again, at this time, there was no concept of, uh, or there was no knowledge of DNA and chromosomes. So this is all before DNA was discovered and, uh, and known to be uh, genetic information. Each version of a gene he called an allele. So if I were to look at this right here, I would say that this is one allele and this is the second allele. That, that was inherited from uh, each parent. 
dominant alleles completely overpower recessive. So this right here would be a dominant allele. And this right here would be a recessive allele. Because if both were inherited, I wouldn't see a short plant or, or a medium-sized plant. I would still see a tall plant. So one gene or one allele had to be dominant over the other. The one that's not dominant, we call that recessive. Um, when we work with this on paper, alleles are commonly shown as letters, and you're going to adopt the letter of the dominant trait. So for example, since we're working with height, the dominant trait is being tall, so we're going to use a capital T to show the dominant trait and a lowercase t to show the recessive trait. Now, a little bit more vocab. Remember, an allele is a version of a trait, and a genotype is the combination of alleles. And lastly, the phenotype. The phenotype is what is shown or expressed. And I want you to take note of this, and we'll go over this a little bit more. Okay, so go ahead and put the video on pause and jot these down. Okay. So alleles, if I took a purebred tall, its alleles are going to be a dominant T, a dominant allele, and a dominant allele. It's going to have two of them, okay? Now what about a hybrid? Meaning it has one of each. It's going to have a dominant allele, and this is going to show the recessive allele. What about a purebred for being short? It's going to have two recessive alleles. Okay, so each letter represents one allele. Now, what about this word genotypes? What a genotype is referring to, it's referring to both alleles together. Okay, so each pair of these is a genotype, and here's how we describe them. If we have two dominant alleles, we call that homozygous dominant. And again, that prefix homo means the same. If I look at this plant right here, I would see that it has two dominant alleles. They're the same, so I would call them homozygous dominant. A genotype where one allele is dominant and one allele is recessive, I call that heterozygous. And again, what does that prefix hetero mean? It means other or different. So this middle uh, combination, this middle genotype, this genotype of a dominant T, recessive T, we would call that heterozygous. Now, take a look at this last one on the end. There's two alleles. They're both the same, and they're both recessive. I would call those homozygous recessive. Again, homo meaning the same. Okay? Now, what about a... Oh, let's backtrack real quick. Um, here's how you can shorthand those words. So, if we're working on paper, uh, this middle genotype would be heterozygous, and this one on the end would be homozygous recessive. Now, what about phenotypes? This first part of the word, pheno, I think of physical. Physical meaning you could see it, what is shown or expressed. So, if somebody inherits, or if a plant inherits this genotype of homozygous dominant, what am I going to see? I'm going to see it being tall. So, that is its phenotype. That's what's expressed. This one in the middle is heterozygous. I won't know its genotype by looking at it, but I can know its phenotype. I will know that it's also tall. This one on the end, I can know that this is a short plant just by looking at it, okay? And obviously I could tell its genotype would be um, two recessive alleles for being short. Okay, so here's the last note that I want you to take. Allele is the combination. It's each individual version of a gene. The genotype for this one right here would be homozygous dominant. And what would the phenotype be? Or what would you see? You would see a tall plant.
Now, what about the alleles of a dominant and a recessive? That genotype would be heterozygous because they're both different. What would the phenotype be, or what would I see? It would still be a tall plant. And lastly, if there are two recessive alleles together, what would that genotype be? That genotype would be homozygous recessive. What would I see? What would be shown or expressed? It would be a small plant. That's what I would see. Okay? Okie dokie. That was it for this one, and I hope that was helpful, guys.